What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing and the hands-on of a phone that AT&T seems to be running away from. It is called the Huawei Mate 10 Pro and this thing came directly from eBay. I got it here from a seller in Miami and it got here only in two days. I ordered this on Sunday and by Monday, uh, I'm sorry, Tuesday, it was delivered here to my house and of course I took my time to play with it a little bit. And let me tell you guys, I am absolutely thrilled with this device and I know that I say this on other smartphones because sometimes the price is too low and sometimes I say it because the specifications are too amazing and the phone is just absolutely incredible in this case the price is really not that budget friendly to be honest with you guys but this thing really rocks and I'm gonna be telling you why in just a second so first of all here we have the box in the front you just got the logo it has a very nice texture to it here towards the bottom and the top and as you guys can see it has a middle line here which feels just like a standard box uh, we got the logos on here and then towards the back we have nothing nothing here or actually we do have something there it says Huawei design and that's pretty much all we have on the top you have the IMEA information and such so getting this thing here out of the box you guys can immediately notice that I got here the midnight blue which looks absolutely incredible so setting this aside inside here on the right side of the box we have the USB cable now according to Huawei this thing has a chip built in that uh, is the one responsible for giving you that fast charging capabilities if you guys use another usb cable it may not be charging as fast as with this one right here so make sure that you guys keep it in handy and also i noticed that it is a little bit thicker than other usb wires that i've seen in the past keep that in mind next we got here the earphones and these are very similar to the apple uh, ear pods and let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree or not uh, and next we got here the fast charger and you can tell that this is the us version due to the fact that now we have the charger here supported for the usa now very weirdly the manuals inside on this box we're going to see in just a moment they're not in english and i really don't understand why but at least the important part is that well we got the american charger which is definitely uh something that i was looking forward to and then we got here for surprise a little silicon case that seems to be uh, working quite well and this time on the inner side they made it with some sort of um, I would say smoky look let me just remove this foam out of the way so that way you guys can see what I'm talking about so on the top here you can see the glossy part is uh, clear basically and then towards the bottom here we see that kind of um, I would say like cloud effect and it looks kind of cool to be honest with you guys it prevents it from uh, you seeing all those fingerprints that you add later on to the product so there we have it for the silicon case now here we have a little sim ejector tool okay as always this is very standard and here we have the spanish uh, quick start guide or this is the warranty certificate i just noticed that right now so this is the part that i was mentioning that is kind of weird and i already flipped the pages and yes everything's in spanish now for me i'm lucky because i do speak spanish so it's not going to hurt me now for those of you who don't speak spanish well i guess you're going to have to be using the translator app that comes built in with the huawei phone and here we have the quick start guide and that's pretty much um, all we have here or actually you know the quick start guide uh, does come in English as you guys can tell right there but not the warranty card okay so excuse me for that and now inside of the box here we have nothing else so let me go ahead and set everything aside and check out here the amazing Huawei Mate 10 Pro coming back here to the Huawei Mate 10 Pro we can first of all take a look here around the device and definitely agree that this phone is absolutely beautiful guys all the way around on the back side here we have this very beautiful glass midnight blue and with this line towards the upper side of the cameras it just makes it look so elegant and I know that many reviewers out there have mentioned the beauty of this phone and I really couldn't understand it until now that I had the phone in my hand so that's why I always say when you see things through cameras sometimes they don't look as good as when you see them in person so anyways on the back side here we have the dual 13 megapixel sensor cameras they are Leica lenses so they have tremendous quality here we have the uh, LED flash towards the left side and the laser focus here towards the right side with the fingerprint scanner and the Huawei logo on the right side we have the volume rockers with the power key now I have to make guys this is very annoying for some reason I don't know if it is because of the placement of the buttons if you guys own this phone already and you're watching this video you can't deny the fact that you have tried to put the phone asleep and accidentally hit the minus button and the power key at the same time and instead you shot a screenshot of your screen 
very annoying and it has happened to me at least six times today alone so maybe the button placement were not uh, very well designed here by Huawei but at least they are functional on the bottom side here you have the USB type C port with two microphones one of them is for noise cancelling the other one is just for uh, the voice to be transmitted through here um, also we got here the loudspeaker and this phone comes with two loudspeakers we have one at the bottom here and the other one is where the ear speaker is located so that's very cool and on the left hand side here we have a sim tray with the metallic frame of course and this is a dual sim dual standby device unfortunately the memory cannot be upgraded but with 128 gigabytes i think i have quite enough here for a while on the front side here is where the fun part starts we have a 5.99 inch display full hd with a resolution of 2160 by 1080. it is amelie so it's going to give you very nice and bright colors also comes with this technology called hdr10 that will increase the colors by a big margin and let me tell you guys the saturation in this thing is absolutely perfect it is very comfortable to the eye and i really don't have any complaints here about the uh, display we also have the 8 megapixel wide angle camera here on the top with the uh, ear speaker slash loudspeaker the sensors on the left hand side and a notification LED light as well so enough has been said here about the body of the phone let me just go ahead and turn it on uh, this phone comes like I said before with the high silicon Kirin 970 processor it is octa core it has uh, six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage and also the uh, GPU is going to be the Mali G72. It has Android 8.0 and it comes with the EMUI uh, 8.0.0. And uh, here we can see the boot animation. It's very simple, very clean. And here I have set up a pattern. The first thing I want to show you guys on this quick hands-on is going to be the fingerprint scanner. So here we have the device already booted up and you can appreciate it already. And can deny the fact that even though it is through camera, I know, but the colors are just so nice and so refreshing to the eyes. Now, I have to admit that right now I have it at almost middle side of the brightness here because when you place it completely up, it just tends to bother you, especially at nighttime. But on the daylight time, it is absolutely perfect. Even with sunlight on top of it, you can still see everything. And that's something that I appreciate because other phones have lacked this quite dramatically. So anyways, guys, here we have the EMUI. And let's go ahead and get started here like always by going here into settings and now we're going to go here into system we go about phone here and here we can see the remainder of the information as i was mentioning before it comes with the uh, emui version 8.0 there we can see the android we have the processor the ram the internal storage and also the display everything here is absolutely accurate and now something i was truly impressed about the huawei mate 10 pro is the fact that the scores that i got from some benchmarks that i completed is absolutely stunning we have here the intuito benchmark and this one gave it a score of 206 thousand i never seen a score that high on any phone before guys i mean correct me if i'm wrong but tell me at least name one device with the exception of the iphone 10 of course i'm talking about android here that has scored 206 thousand okay this is unbelievable honestly and here we have the devices information so you guys can take a quick glance if you want to as i said before guys everything is accurate on this device and if i forgot to mention it comes with a 4000 million battery believe it or not i decided just for proof today actually since last night I disconnected around 8 p.m. the phone from the charger. I used it a little bit as I was watching a movie. Well, I really wasn't watching the movie. I was just playing with the phone. And then I didn't charge it overnight on purpose. And I went to work with my T-Mobile SIM card. By the way, I'm getting 4G LTE on the phone. We know that already. It is supported. Uh, but I went to work around, um, I would say, 7, 10 a.m. I've been in the entire day playing with the phone, playing music, playing videos, using it for phone calls, text messages, and I still have almost half of the battery. So the battery will last you pretty much the entire day, guys, and it's not gonna fail. A lot of YouTubers have said it, and they were not wrong about this device. Second, we have performed here the Geekbench 4 testings, and this one here is also very impressive. Let's go here into the history, and this is the score that I got. It was for the multi-core almost 7,000. 
okay and I know that a lot of you guys are gonna say Jay but you know score sometimes don't say everything about a phone but performance wise guys I haven't seen one lag on this device not even once it's always working very nice and smoothly but like I said I still have my complaints about it my main complaint so far is the button placement well I have three complaints honestly the button placement here sometimes when you tend to press it as you guys can tell right now you can easily click the volume down key and it's going to trigger a a screenshot the second problem is that I don't have wireless charging I mean like come on Huawei this phone is almost almost eight hundred and twenty dollars for the shipping and you're not going to include having glass on the back a wireless charger this is absolutely unacceptable and it's something that maybe because of this reason I may not keep this device as my primary phone I was thinking about it but then knowing that it doesn't have wireless charging is an absolute bummer and third is the fact that well the software has not yet been completely optimized believe it or not guys this thing has rebooted now for almost four almost yeah four times in the entire day by itself all of a sudden I'm playing videos or multitasking with the phone and before you know it you got the Huawei logo it reboots very fast though it only takes maybe like two or three seconds but it's very annoying as well so those are my three only complaints about this phone so far but everything else works absolutely perfect we have very cool features here like let's go into settings let's go here into display and you guys here will see a feature called home screen style meaning that you can change it to where you have the app drawer or if you don't want the app drawer you can just choose the standard mode right now I have it with the app drawer something that not every Android device out there offers so right now you can see I have here the drawer which looks very cool and it reminds me that I'm using an Android device the second uh, feature or app that I love that came from Huawei on this device is called Translator. This thing is absolutely amazing. As you guys can tell, we have four different uh, type of uh, translators here. You can use the voice, you can type it, you can shoot a photo of something and translate it, or you can now have it to where you can speak, have a conversation using um, this method right here. So I guess that you tap it once you make him talk it'll translate then you talk it'll translate into the um, other person uh, language so this is absolutely incredible I mean I've never seen an app that works so great like this one right here so for that side guys I do love it I mean it has a lot of little gimmicky things that are just fun to play with and I haven't seen on other smartphones so anyways guys let's go ahead and take a brief moment here to quickly test the loudspeaker then we're gonna talk about the camera so let's go here into my channel Let's try to play one of my own videos. Let's do this one about the drone and let's see how good it sounds. Actually, let's do the one for the Galaxy S9. There we have my videos. Let's try. What is going on, YouTubers? Jake here from Maji and Jay. Today, I'm going to be providing the unboxing and the hands on of the first Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus replica that I received directly from China. And unfortunately, guys, I wasn't able to provide this unboxing and hands on a little bit sooner due to the fact that, well, it got held by custom. Well, there we can hear that the loudspeakers on this device are not bad whatsoever. Now, I'm really bad at explaining qualities of loudspeakers, believe it or not, guys, but on the top, you get that treble sound, meaning you get like that. Towards the bottom, you get like the boom sound, like whatever bass you have on the uh, music or video that you're playing is going to be coming mostly from the bottom side. So this is kind of cool. It gives you that, I would say like 3D sound effect. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's because you had to hear it in order to understand what I'm trying to say here. But the loudspeakers are very, very nice. And next here we have the camera. And the camera, guys, is absolutely great. It has a lot of features into it. Now, what I like about it is that it has something called AI technology, meaning artificial intelligence. And basically what it does is that it will um, distinguish between objects. It knows when you're shooting a picture to a dog, a cat, it knows pretty much anything, uh, you know, obviously a human being, and it will just trigger that, I would say like setting, it'll, it'll change the way it looks by just knowing what object you're shooting the picture at. So I think this is really, really cool. And on the front side here, we have again that cool camera as well and you guys can see that right now it has some sort of beauty mode turned on because I look like I just wore uh, makeup but 
the cameras guys are absolutely unbelievable i have provided here some samples i took some videos and i also shot uh, some pictures at nighttime if you guys want i can provide those here uh, down below but anyways let's go here into my pictures and these were the ones that i did on very low light conditions and you guys can see how well it does let me just go ahead and try to zoom this in it does very very nice on low light conditions i would say better than my iphone 10 that i currently own back here so all in all guys this phone does the job quite well and here i'm going to turn off the wi-fi so that way you can see that i'm getting 4g lte support here towards the top side so so far guys again my complaints my major ones are well the button placement like i said before no wireless charging and the mysterious reboots and i'm pretty sure that this at least can be fixed uh, with a software update so i guess i have just two complaints about this device other than that it is absolutely perfect so with this being said guys i think we have covered the unboxing and the hands-on of the huawei mate 10 pro and if you have any questions you know exactly what to do just leave your comments below don't forget to like this video subscribe for more thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one